just the place itself was unlike anywhere else. I mean, it was very unique, and I think its uniqueness attracted uniqueness, or maybe even brought out uniqueness in people. It was just the shit, you know? There, it, it didn't, like, they didn't kind of cater to any one crowd. It was just so cool, everybody went there who had a clue, you know? It was like this little clubhouse of people that were, you know, your own personal fans, and you were their fans, too. It was like all these people that really liked each other, really did. It was like, it was like a, a forerunner or like a bellwether of what was bubbling under the surface. And it, there was just something about that place that was so special as a community center. It was a breath of fresh air, definitely. So different from anything else that was going on here. You know, now everybody's cool and hip and there's a million places to go, but in those days, you know, there was a couple of clubs, you know, there was like Ground Zero for dancing and there was this and that, but as far as like a, a coffee house, there wasn't anything really like that, so that's sort of where those people found each other. Oh, I'm not sure, but I think I invented Frappuccino. And I, I called it Frappuccino. It was Frappe. I was always really fascinated with all the buttons, you know, liquefy on a on an Oster blender, not just the Hamilton Beach on and off, but the one that has like 12 buttons. Mm -hmm. And they're usually avocado green or something. And, and we had one of those off and on. We would make special drinks for special customers. You know, it felt like you were like in an artist's studio or something when you were in there and it was a lot of, there weren't any rules about how it was set up. It seemed that Pick Me Up had its own, its own way of moving and uh, it seemed like it, it did what it was supposed to do. I think people really work to kind of have that kind of absent-minded togetherness that the pick-me-up just kind of naturally generated. Even people I knew who were a bit conservative just sensed the fun there and they did, there was no, there was no prejudgment. And Tony and Jerry's vision of the way things were and the way things were going to go is that everything was very, um, intensely creative and artistic and fun. Fun, fun, fun. I don't know, it was just, I felt like we were swimming against the tide and whatever we could do uh, to change people's mind is what we were about. You know, whether it be through art or performance, it's just to let, our, I think our whole thing was just if a stranger were to happen in there and they were to experience what we were putting out there, you know, and in some insidious way we were trying to get a message out, Hopefully they got it, they walked away and they were enlightened. You know.